Hello everyone and welcome back to our Roman campaign. We are now on part 26. And we have just crushed two Averni armies uh, to the west of Massalia. So we are now hoping to move up to Tolosa and take that back. And we can start pushing pushing against the Averni tribe. Got another army stationed in Octoduron, as we are obviously still at war with the Swabians. That's to help the Helvetii. Hopefully they can survive a bit longer than one or two turns unlike last time our agents we've sort of just got roaming the lands keeping an eye on the Swabians see what they're up to I'm not sure what else I'm going to do with this guy but he can just keep moving around just doing circles laps of the Swabian territory we did try and assassinate Ivor last turn but our spy is useless and she is now wounded. So that's good. I love having enemy agents in our land. Still obviously holding Lullabyum in Syracuse, sort of waiting for the time to strike against the Carthaginians. As you can see they do it, they have so many armies and fleets. At the minute I can't really contend with them. Not while I've got my, my forces split. So, let's send our agent up to Tolosa. Is there nothing else? So there is an army there. Um, and they do have some good units actually. Some decent sword and um, spear units. And the archers as well. No, I am a citizen of Rome. So we'll have to be wary of those. I journey begins. Let's just keep moving around and see what else I've got. So Oxteus, maybe, that's how you pronounce it. Has he got 10 authority? Bloody hell. Looks like he's just been sat in Nemosis all game. But that'll be our next target. We'll take Berdigala, Nemosis. And then we can take the fight to the Pictons. Finally. And take them on him. Hopefully. Yeah, let's be wary of that army. But... We replenished enough, I think. At your command. Ready for orders. Make haste, men. To move up. For some reason that bridge really hinders our movement. I'm not quite sure why. Gathering supplies. Ready for orders. March. But we're just gonna move up and round. The way is blocked. Is that all? So also it's got a decent garrison, so they may go and that army may garrison to Loza or just attack us straight away. As they are close enough now to get reinforcements. But either way, we'll be taking that and that army is going to die. I don't really see the worth at the minute. And it would be nice to unlock those units at the tier 4 barracks. At 6 grand just to get the naked sword unit. And 8 turns as well. But we do have a lot of money. And obviously then we'll have Tolosa as well. So yeah, I suppose we might as well. Right, anyway. We do want to recruit more units. I'll be able to recruit more units from here. I think in terms of building, that's probably it for now. Recruitment wise, nothing else has really changed. We don't want to change our armies too much. At some point, would like to swap the Velites out for Slingers or Archers. Ready for orders. But what we have now will suffice. Commander. And we need to look to swap these out as well. As they're costing quite a lot. As they're still mercenaries. Uh, the fleet. The fleet can now move out. As we're pushing on Averni. The question is where to? I think let's come around this way. Let's try and take out these slaves. To start with, because we'll get the garrison from Neapolis. So we shouldn't have an issue there killing them. And let's enter turn again. 
Oh, that's Spy. I always forget about that. Slight glitch there with some of the names. Carthage just invaded <laughs> some places to the far east. Oh, Come they really now, just let us debate this matter like civilized men, Athens. and then realize that no, I s you've been rejecting trade from me all game. Oh shoot, that might have been a bad idea. Oh my god. What is that army? That's way... B oh, I thought that was way better than what we had. But according to this, it looks like we're going to win. So, we'll take that. 64%. Not a big fan of naval battles in Rome 2. The feature's cool, and I hope they sort of revisit it in the future. We must rest a while. But... It was, I'm sure it still is, just rife with bugs and glitches and things. And it was painful to try and navigate a naval battle. Uh, I mean, we might as well take the mercenary availability. There's no harm in it. The year in history. I really should read these. Um, so apologies that I don't. Great city of Babylon, 15% research, and 5 growth per turn faction wide. That's cool. Seleucia and Mesopotamia province. That's cool. Alright. Yeah, I think when we read our read, when we do our next campaign, I will read. I will read those, go through them in more detail, because they are a nice little feature. Of the um, of the mod, and obviously time and effort has been put into it, so they should be read. And contradictory to what I said earlier, contradictory con on the contrary, I can't think of the right word. I thought Nori was at war with Swabia, but it's not. They've only just gone to war with them this turn, which explains why they've just sat there the whole game. Um, Cassurgis is open for the taking, if you want to go for that. I think we we could probably do that, couldn't we? If we set a war target. You go for that. You guys... Oh no, you're setting a target for them all, aren't you? That's the problem. Yeah. Oh, I don't want you all to move out though, that's the issue. So, I'll tell you what, do the one in the middle. Do we do the one in the middle? No, I think actually I won't bother. I thought you could set them individually. I just don't want this to set it one somewhere far away from two of them, because then if they all just send their armies, the, the Swabians will probably just come down and take them out, and we haven't got the armies to support three different settlements at the minute. That's not going to work. Yes. Right, you've ranked up, which is good. So let's buff those. Um, we need to get your replenishment up as well. And you can sit in Neapolis for a while. Replenish. Uh, do we go and attack Alalia? Or do we just go all out and get another army? And move that across to Alalia. Because I mean, they've got what? There's two admirals here. And then two armies in Corallis. A third army outside Carthage. So they've got quite a lot. But I'm thinking if we put an army in the fleet, take Alalia, then at least they'll be able to hold Alalia. And then our fleet will be more central to support as and when we need it. Uh, 
Who have we got for generals? Claudia, Claudia, Julii. So we haven't got anyone from our house, which is what I want. We need someone from there, the Scipio clan. And we had to adopt Jellius, didn't we? Because he hasn't even got a son now. How was he? 49. So Lucius Scipio is going to be dying. Well, sooner rather than later, unfortunately. And we haven't got a strong line of succession. Oh my god, we've got a lot of household cards, which I haven't really paid much attention to, to be honest. I always forget, there's so many little features in this game. And probably put in by the mod as well. Two authority, two gravitas, and one influence for your political party. That's probably worth having, isn't it? Let's see if there's any better ones. Celtic culture? We don't want that. Um, that would be good for the Admiral. Alright, let's stick that one on Scipio. Try and get our favour up with the political party. We're miles off changing that to the Empire yet, so don't need to worry about that. Nothing else we can do there, right, okay. So the Averni army moved down here somewhere, didn't it? Which is going to be annoying because they're going to ambush us. I feel like. I mean, we just ran all over that territory and we couldn't find them. Okay, they didn't ambush us, so that's good. So it looks relatively balanced in terms of numbers. 60% uh, though, it's saying. But they have, I think this is the first time we're coming up against the, the sword units. The uh, Gaelic swords. Their number is by 200. Uh, let's fight this one then. I'm not happy with the 60%. Although those are famous words, because I've said that before. And then lost like 80% of the army. So the whole result would have been much better. Right, really don't want fog. Whoa, um, yeah, we don't want that either. Oh, for God's sake! Right, so we do have range superiority in terms of the ballista. Romans, ready for duty at your service. However, the fog gives us is going to hinder us somewhat. Velites. Velites. Stick explosive on that. General, General behind. Jupiter gives us strength. Uh, well, I think we'll have to split the cav on this one. Just to be sure. Right, that should be fine. Are they moving Our up to us? Have arrived. Oh, they are. They're doing us a favour of coming closer. And for whatever reason, this army's not coming from behind. Not quite know why. Let's start moving up. If you will. Right, there's the second army. 
Uh, I don't know where their second army is just yet. Again, that one should be directly from behind them. Oh. Let's try and arrange these while they're all moving up. Yeah, might as well get them to run. You guys get stuck in there. Make sure they don't flank us. The artillery should be shooting now. Which it is. Very nice hit there. Gaelic yeah, Saw's looking quite armoured there. Stolen Roman helmets, I think, as well, maybe. Some stolen armour. We'll be taking that back. Swift well, that cavalry's done a number on our flank there. Charging a two unit, really? Killed 40 Triarii. And we've only killed 30 of them. That's a bit ridiculous. Right. You guys, reform your lines, please. Cavalry gets stuck in. General, come and help out. Field artillery ready. We can. It's probably a good idea to start breaking up those units as well. Let's just do standard round. Start shooting some of them sword units. Right, that's good. Get the cavalry back out. Still don't know where the second army is just yet. Hopefully it doesn't turn up on our flank. Right, you start shooting your general now I think. And they've stopped just in range of our javelins as well. Oh no, they've One got their own javelins. That might not be the best for us. General. Right, these guys are slowly getting into formation. It's taking them a while. Ready. Cavalry's moved up. One of our units has used all its ammunition. We'll give them a little rest. Let's move the cavalry round. And let's swing this line round as well. Oh, we're suffering quite a bit from javelins, I think. So we're going to have to get in. Valita, the range of the Valita is honestly is dire. It really is. One of our units has used all its ammunition. This is why I'd like to get some skirmishers, um, slingers or archers, I think, on the field. It'd be much better. Right, cavalry needs to come round. I don't think we're going to be able to. But really, we want to crush this army before this one reinforces. But I can't really see that happening. We await your command. Romans ready for duty. Come on, keep throwing all your javelins. And then you can charge in. There you go. Stuck in. Swift riders at your command. That's also not what we're to do. Just want the cavalry. One of our units has used all its ammunition. You guys can move up. Keep going. 
Uh, I don't know if these are going to be any use this game. As they're quite far away. Get some charges in. Now taking a bit of a beating here. Nope. That cavalry is not moving very fast at all. Come on, Ballista, hurry up. Alright. You guys just get stuck in. Hopefully, we can kill these. See a lot of routing going on, so that's good. Some of them have taken some serious damage on this battle, but hopefully our cav should do the trick. Uh, they just broke through and charge our siege unit for some reason. Not quite sure why, but General gets stuck in there. At least halt them so the tree area can catch them. Should be okay, I think. We might just be able to break them before. Oh, we distracted them with the other army now, anyway, so that's good. Can you guys start firing? No. God, you guys are slow, aren't you? Let's not do fire at will. General, right. General's killed him there. General, Let's charge them down. Right, let's pull the cavalry out now as well. Because they are starting to starting to take a bit of a beating. One of our units has used all its ammunition. That's fine. General General out. Don't want him getting killed. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Well, that cavalry took a beat in there. Get out. You're all clumped up. This is not good. No, oh, we nearly did it. Didn't quite work out. Come on, cavalry, get out. Getting chopped up. It's not what we want. Pull them out. Uh, that Principe unit needs help, doesn't it? They're not going to survive. And uh, that tree area unit needs help as well, so I'll go help them out. Alright, go get stuck in. Oh, they're going for them again. How they just ran off? Just 
fully exited combat there. Cavalry is still not listening. Oh, they're just stood getting shot, which is not good. Finish them off for me. You guys pull back. As I don't want to lose. The artillery. We should be able to kill them. How's it looking here? Everyone's routing. Start running everybody down, it looks like. Keep going. There we go. I think that should be it. The battle is turning in our favour. Although the cavalry's not doing great there. So quickly go help them out, please. Before they all get killed. There we go. Easy victory. Just start running everyone down. You need to run. Actually run. Is that it? Generals. One of our units is used to sure you run ammunition. somebody down. Always try and kill as many as we can. I mean, we don't actually take them for money because we always kill the captives anyway, but it just means we're fighting less. Next turn. Alright, how are you guys getting on? So, yeah, now they've got access to the um, Gaelic swords. I think they had the Gaelic Spears before. Maybe they just weren't using the swordsmen. But they're definitely better, obviously, than their, their basic infantry. As you can tell, they did a lot more damage to our units there. Yeah, I mean, most of their sword units got over 100 kills. So we lost 1,640. And managed to kill 4,445. So still more than two barbarian scum for every one Roman. Which is the ratio I'd love to keep in this game. I think obviously later on we get into the game. We're going to face much better opposition. With uh, probably superior troops to a certain degree. Maybe Carthage. I know Carthage have access to a lot of good troops. And when you start to come up to Macedon or Seleucid with their hoplite phalanxes and things. That could be tricky for us. Okay, we didn't lose any units. And gained a lot of XP there as well. But somehow their general managed to escape. We'll just kill them off. Me, but I cannot. Oh, you can. And you shall. At your command. And now... We can finally... Retake Tolosa. Let's quickly upgrade him though. What do we want? That's probably worth it. That could be good. What else is there? I think we could probably go for... 
Oh, actually, I think we were going for Quartermaster, weren't we? 50% ammunition, 10 armor, 10 melee attack. Yeah, we'll grab that. At your command. Uh, but Nepos didn't level up, surprisingly. Commander. We take this settlement for Rome! Right, I am wary about some of these units being on low health. I do hope that the game isn't going to screw us over by killing them off. No, that's good. Okay, so we could liberate again like we've done in the north, but... No, we want to lose, don't we? Ready for orders. So, it's taking some time, but it is finally back in our hands. And now we can start building some... What do we want to build in here, actually? We've got the barracks in Massalia. We can't actually get any workshops here, though, can we? Which is disappointing. I think food-wise, yeah, we definitely need a farm. Pit mine. That gives us a lot of coal, silver and stone for trade, which could be good. But then a lot of squalor on public order. What's a squalor like? We've only got three in Telosa, so... I think meat in place, public order and wealth. It's not going to be a... This is much more of a recruitment hub, isn't it? The province of Provincia. <laughs> so... I think we could... Probably go for that. Oh, minus 15 banditry could be good. The wealth, yeah. Wealth isn't really going to be an issue for us in this province. As I say, it's not going to be making much money. Oh, and did we get any units from any of the shrines? It would be weird if we did, but... You never know? No. Okay. Yeah, I don't as much else. We're getting doors built anyway, so it's pointless building anymore. So I think we'll just go for the meeting place for now. After all that. Ready for orders. March. And then we can replenish. Ready for battle. And then where's our dignitary gone? Pull him back. Oh, the king's moved out. And he's moving towards us as well. My journey begins. I can assist you further. So we've got another general, so he'll start recruiting next turn. So uh, yeah, let's see if the king moves towards us. And take out the Verney King. Medlands one turn from upgrading, so that's good. Garrison will be um vastly improved. Neapolis, they're uh, just replenishing, aren't they? They're going to take a few turns. That's fine. Okay, I think we're doing alright so far. Let's have another look for trade. Greetings, my friend. You have my ear for your speech. Nope. <laughs> my people. Greetings, friend. They've declined trade for 84 turns, or however long it's been. Why break a habit of a lifetime? I am sure you. I have a fight. Yeah, I mean, peace right now with the Verne would be great, because then we could just focus on Carthage. But with them being aggressive, I can't see, and they're not at war with anyone else apart from the Helvetii, which does concern me a bit, but. Yeah, no one else seems to be fighting much up here. It's sort of just all... There's not many wars going on. So, yeah. Right, let's then turn and see what happens. We need to spend a couple of turns replenishing now. With our navy and the armies in Tolosa.
It looks like Macedon's gearing up for something. War with the Brucey, maybe. And I think that was another Swabian army that's just appeared. Rival Banquet. One of the parties has organised a banquet in your capital, threatening your hegemony. How do you react? Attend. Boycott or forbid slash break. Organised a banquet in my capital. They will attend. Attend and take it over. Publius Gellius. Gravitas, one per turn. That's good. Rude, crude, and probably lewd. <laughs> right. That's fine. She's back, finally. Don't know where that enemy agent's gone. Oh, he's up there. Right, chase him down, please. It looks like the Helvetii have moved out At your command. to fight that army, and we can't actually reach him. So I wonder, do we move up to support? And then the only problem is if we move up. Right. Let's move up to here. Make haste, men. Is that all? We hunger for battle. And let's see what they do. Because again, they're, they're probably going to lose that battle if they fight them. The Rete have moved up again. Don't know where they're going. And the Nori are on the offensive. Good. Hopefully there isn't an army here. Doesn't look like there is. So, you've got free passage. If you could take Sergius, that would be great. I doubt that you will, but nevertheless. Right, there's that general recruiting 10 units in a turn. Where's the king gone? Oh, that's interesting. Okay, I don't know where the king's gone. Right, you've nearly replenished, so you can just fortify there. Let's get the amphitheatre up. Uh, 16,000, wow. That's um, that is a lot of money. I think we'll, we'll bypass that for now. What else do you want to do? We've moved the agents. We're not moving anything else just yet. You've moved up to Carthage for me. Don't see the garrison yet. Luckily, they've still got some mob units in it. A lot of armies around Corallus, which will make it a little bit more difficult to take. Alright, I think that's it for now. So let's then turn again and see what happens, especially with this Swabian army here. I don't think we're in. Reinforcement range, if the Helvetii attack. Oh, and Carthage is pushed back into Iberia. I suppose that that is good for us because it's drawing away their attention. Uh, oh, the king! The king has come. And they do want numbers slightly. So that's the army they've just recruited. And the king as well. Close victory. It's telling us. Okay. Right, well I think we'll end it here anyway. As we're approaching the 40 minute mark. And we'll start the next episode with a battle. Against the Avernian king. It should be interesting. So thank you all for watching. And I'll catch you in the next one.